फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ मीडियम रेजिस्टेंसेस यूजिंग अ मीटर वोल्ट मीटर मेथड सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद अ प्रॉब्लम सो अ प्रॉब्लम इज दैट अ रेजिस्टेंस इज मेजर्ड बाय यूजिंग द अ मीटर वोल्ट मीटर मेथड एंड इन द the resistance value is given to us as 80 ohms so this is the true value of the resistance and this resistance is measured using the ammeter voltmeter method the ammeter which is used in this method it is a 1 ampere ammeter which is having an resistance value of 2 ohm and a voltmeter which is the 50 volts voltmeter which is having a resistance of 5000 ohm so this 1 ampere it is the range of the ammeter that uh, this ammeter can give a maximum reading of 1 ampere and voltmeter can give uh, the maximum voltage of 50 volts so from 0 to 50 volts it can measure the voltages and from 0 to 1 ampere it, the ammeter can measure the current now we have to uh, in the first part we have to suggest that out of the two connections of the ammeter voltmeter method which connection is used for the measurement of this 80 ohms of resistance also in the second part we have to when we have determined that out of the two connections which connection is used then we are given the readings of the current and the voltmeter and we have to determine the error in the measurement if the accuracy of the instruments that is ammeter and voltmeter accuracy is given to us as plus minus 0.5% of the full scale and in terms of the standard deviation okay so let's try to solve this problem first we will determine that out of the two connections which connection is to be used for measuring this 80 ohm of resistance now in the ammeter voltmeter method if we want to determine the resistance value uh, there is a formula that r equals to under root of r a r v when we determine the value of this resistance using this formula then all those resistances which are greater than this value they are measured by using the first method and all those resistances which are having the value less than this they are measured using the second connection so through this formula we are going to determine the margin line of the two connections here value of the resistance of the ammeter that is ra given to us as 2 ohms and rv that is the resistance of the voltmeter given to us in the question as 5000 so we are getting its value as 100 ohms so uh, the value of the resistances or all those resistances which are greater than 100 ohms they will be measured using the first connection and all those resistances which are less than the value of 100 ohm they will be measured using the second connection now the resistance which we want to measure it is of 80 ohms so it is less than 100 ohm okay so we are going to use the second connection of the ammeter voltmeter method for measuring this 80 ohms resistance now in the second connection the voltmeter is uh, con uh, connected close to the resistance this is the unknown resist uh, resistance which we want to measure this is voltmeter this is ammeter and here a voltage source is connected now this ammeter it is going to measure the current which is the sum of iv plus ir okay 
Now in the second method we have to suppose that the ammeter is giving us the reading of 0.42 amperes and voltmeter is giving us the reading as 35.5. So the measured value of the resistance will be 35.5. It is the voltmeter reading divided by the ammeter reading. So Rm that is measured value equal to V divided by I. Now V is given to us in the question as 35.5 volts and current is given as 0.42 amperes. It is given us in the second part. So through this the measured value of the resistance is coming out to be 84.52 ohms. But true value of the resistance is 80 ohms so there is an error you can see that the measured value is greater than the true value by the amount 4.52 so this error in the measurement the resistance which we were measuring is 80 ohms now if we want to measure the true value of resistance Okay, true value of resistance will be R equals to Rm2. This is how uh, in the second case, in the second connection, we are going to measure the true value of the resistance. So Rm2, it is the measured value that is Rm here. So R will be equals to 84.52 1 upon 1 minus Rm2 is again 84.52 divided by the voltage uh, the resistance of the voltmeter which is 5000. So when we calculate this the true value is coming out to be 86 ohms. So you can see that here the true value it is greater than the measured value but if we take the true value as the 80 ohm if we were measuring this uh, 80 ohm of resistance then you can see that the measured value is greater than the true value. Now here because there is a difference between the two values so error will be there. Now in the second part we have to measure the resulting error if the accuracy of the instrument is plus minus 0.5% of the full scale. So if we see error in the instruments will be there. Error in the ammeter reading because accuracy is plus minus 0.5 percent of the full scale so 0.5 percent that is divided by 100 of full scale so the full scale of a meter is 1 ampere so we will write here 1 so error in the ammeter reading is 0.005 now if we calculate the percentage error at 0.42 ampere reading because the uh, meter is giving us the reading of 0.42 ampere so at this reading what will be the percentage error this is 0.005 divided by the reading 0.42 into 100 so the percentage error is coming out to be 1.19%. Similarly, we are going to calculate for the voltmeter also. So error in voltmeter.
it is again 0.5 percent of the full scale so 0.5 percent so divide by 100 full scale the maximum voltage is 50 volts that can be measured through the voltmeter so it is coming out to be 0 0.25 volts so percentage error at 35.5 volt reading because voltmeter is giving us the reading of 35.5 volts. So here it will be 0 0.25 divided by 35.5 into 100. So this is coming out to be 0.704%. So this is the percentage error in the ammeter and percentage error in the voltmeter at these readings. So we have to find out the resulting error now. So Resulting error will be now here the errors they are expressed in terms of standard deviation. It is given to us in the question that errors in terms of the standard deviation. So first we are cal we will calculate the standard deviation of the errors. Error due to the ammeter is 1.19%. So it's square plus error due to voltmeter is 0.704%. So 0.704 and it's square. So the total error is coming out to be plus minus 1.38%. So we can say that the absolute error due to ammeter and voltmeter is plus minus 1.38% of the true value that is 86. So it is coming out to be plus minus 1.2 ohm. Okay, this is the absolute error. So we can write our result that is the resistance. It is specified in as 86 plus minus 1.2 ohms okay so in this question our problem was to first we are given that we are measuring a resistance of 80 ohms and we have to determine that out of the two connections which connection should be used so we have used the formula r equals to under root of ra rv that is resistance of ammeter and resistance of voltmeter and through that formula we have found that the resistances which are greater than the 100 ohm value they are measured through first connection and resistances which are less than the 100 ohm value they are measured through the second connection so second connection is used for measuring this 80 ohm resistance now coming to the second part we have to find out the error in the measurement when we are given the value of voltmeter and the ammeter so through this we calculated the value of resistance as v by i and we found that its value is coming out to be 84.52 okay then we find out the true value of the resistance using this formula and then we found out that true value is 86 ohms okay now we are given in the question that the error in the instrument is 0.5 percent both in voltmeter and ammeter so we have to find out the total error in our measurement so first we individually calculated the percentage error due to the ammeter and due to the voltmeter at the respective readings then taking the uh, standard deviation of them we calculated the 
value that is the total error absolute error is there so the percentage error or the resulting error in our measurement is plus minus 1.2 ohms and the resistance is specified as this so in this problem we have measured the resistance using the ammeter voltmeter method so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you